Hello, good morning, good, good evening everyone. Uh, today we are going to cover a uh, series of admin settings for Zoom Whiteboard. And you are going to learn how you can operate this Zoom Whiteboard using the various admin functions that are available. Let's take a look. When you log into Zoom, you can go to Account Management, Account Settings. And if you click on the Whiteboard tab, you can see all the settings related to Zoom Whiteboard. To turn on Zoom Whiteboard, have two settings. You have in-meeting Whiteboard as well as out-of-meeting Whiteboard. You can turn both of them on to allow your users to enable Whiteboard and allow your users to use Whiteboard both in-meeting as well as out-of-meeting. You can also see there are additional settings for allowing users to export Whiteboard content as well as uh, some cloud sharing settings, which allow you to control if your users uh, should be allowed to share Whiteboard with anyone outside their organization. You also have the ability to lock these settings, to turn it off, and also allow users within a certain group to have Whiteboard enabled. If you go under user management groups, if you have a select group, you can go to the group go to Whiteboard, and then enable Whiteboard only for a certain subset of users. So this is one way to trial Whiteboard and to enable Whiteboard for everyone within the organization. In our series of videos for Whiteboard administration, let's look at um, some of the settings related to Whiteboard management and the permissions that are associated with it. To manage whiteboards within your organization, it's important to understand the various permissions associated with it. So under user management roles, if you open any role, there is a whiteboard section under the permission set. If you click on whiteboard, there are three permissions that are available that you can define. Whiteboard management and template management permission that allows users with this permission to manage whiteboards for your organization. Whiteboard content permissions specifically allows them to export PDFs of whiteboards and essentially look at the content. And org template management allows users to create templates for your organization. With the whiteboard management permission, users can, under account management, whiteboard management, look at all the whiteboards see all the list of whiteboards for your organization and they can make changes to whiteboards. They could change owners, they could lock whiteboards, rename them or move them to trash. There is also bulk management capabilities available where they can select multiple whiteboards and move them to trash or change owners or lock them. The export PDF Operation specifically re requires the whiteboard content permission. If whiteboard content permission exists, admins can uh, click export PDF to download a PDF version of the whiteboard. Now let's look at some additional settings in whiteboard. In the whiteboard settings, under account settings, whiteboard tab, we also have whiteboard retention. Whiteboard retention allows you to delete inactive whiteboards automatically, um, reducing your exposure as well as recovering storage. When you turn on the retention policy, you have several options available in terms of days, 16, 90, 120, 180, or 365 days. When a 90-day threshold is defined, all whiteboards that have been inactive for 90 days will automatically be moved to trash on the 91st day. When this retention policy is enabled, users see a warning on their dashboard that gives them an indication that the retention policy is on and that whiteboards that are unopened or inactive will be automatically moved to trash in 90 days. Now remember, these boards will continue to live in trash for 30 days, giving the user an opportunity to recover these boards. And in the process, resetting the clock so these boards will continue to then exist for another 90 days if there is no activity at which point they can again be moved to trash. 
as part of this feature, users do have the ability to star boards that they feel are important to them. And star boards are not automatically deleted in spite of the retention policy. Let's take a look at one additional feature that's available for admins. Under the dashboard, under administration dashboard, when you click on dashboard, you have a whiteboard tab. Under the whiteboard tab, admins can see usage of whiteboards within their organization. They can see active users. They can see the number of whiteboards uh, within their organization. All the data here is with a delay of 24 hours. So the data that you see here is as of yesterday. And the data is limited to the last 12 months. So you can see here the number of all whiteboards. This indicates the number of users who've used whiteboard over the 12 months. This also shows you a trend of all whiteboards over the entire year. And this gives you a trend of number of whiteboards that are created. Over here, you can see the total number of whiteboards. There is a leaderboard that shows you the top 10 users who are using the whiteboards this, this past 28 days. To be able to get to the dashboard, users must have the whiteboard management permission. Only then will they see the dashboard. Thank you so much.